the event that we're having today at the Olympic Sculpture Park is called Earth Day for Kids, and it's our big family festival that's always presented with Target, and it's meant to have tons of live performances and drop-in art making experiences, and then also really cool things like getting your face painted. We're really excited this year because we went international. So there's a group called Mwanzo Proud Farmers. They're doing sustainable agriculture in Kenya with a village that's been really, really affected by the HIV pandemic in Africa, and it's affecting many communities all around the world. But what they're doing is finding a way to live with something that's devastating and to make environmentalism be part of it. Earthbongo is an online project that invites people to think about how they want to change the world and to post it on their website. So you can visit earthbongo.org for more information. We also, over the last couple of years, have worked with a group called Cool Mom. And Cool Mom is teaching people that they can also learn how to grow their own food. I think it's a wonderful riff on sustainable agriculture and local farming. You might notice that people are flying kites in the sculpture park. And we always invite Draken Foundation to team up with us during Earth Day because April is the kickoff for kite flying season. And we always have live performances. And it's really terrific that we have a special exhibition at Sam downtown that really at the heart of it is about getting the art that's on display in the galleries out in the community. So we decided when we were planning Earth Day for Kids that who better than the cave to highlight what green art is. So if you look at Nick Cave's work, what you see is that he's raided thrift stores and garbage cans and taken things that are absolutely going to be discarded and upcycled them, which means he elevated them. And to see performers performing in these wearable sculptures is a transformative moment. At the heart of our family programs is working with some of Seattle's most talented young people. And I'm really delighted to say that there's one particular group that we've almost like watched them grow up before our eyes. And they started off as an ensemble that was part of Arts Corps and they're break dancers. And people have come to love watching the Vicious Puppies perform at our family festivals and our teen night out. When the Vicious Puppies hit the stage, what you see is young people who are very, very serious about their craft. So they can pop lock, they can do somersaults, and they're always able to work within the museum setting. So when you see performing artists that get what it means to do a performance in the museum, you try and hold on to them. So we met them when they were probably like underclassmen in high school, and I think some of them are getting ready to go on to their college careers. And we like saying that Sam is a place that you can call home. One of the great things about our family festivals is that we have been having an amazing relationship with a sponsor, Target. And what they do is allow us to do incredible festivals that are 100% free, that are filled with art making, live performances, and access to art that's totally family friendly. But we always thank our sponsor, Target, because we're living in an era where people want to know that large corporations want to give back to the community and with Target we're able to give back in such a huge way.